Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Mandy. Thank you for coming. Today we are going to be doing my order that I had made for Target, which is the two Profusion palettes. I had said on yesterday's video that I would be doing that today. I also had said on yesterday's video that if you had watched it on these CoverGirl palettes that I was going to put them on my eyes today, minus the Ascension one because I had already done that. And I really, I mean, for a beginner, maybe you can, they, you really, really have to pile on the makeup and to get it to, you know, work. It's okay. Worth $14, $15? No, I don't think so. Um, probably won't be using those palettes very often. Uh, this is a lot of the palette. However, I did go over with the sparkle with a NYX glitter and there's probably two other palettes involved trying to get the look to look good so i'm going to say that was a dud and i just wanted to update you on that because i i told you i would wear that today in today's video so today's video is going to be look at how cute that is he's got the little target eye and he's coming out the box and then wait for it there's his butt. Isn't that cute? I just thought that was adorable. Uh, it's the first time I've ever received a box from Target that looked like that. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and open this thing up and get our palettes out of here. Because I've heard so much good stuff about these. And I did not see them in my Walmart. And my Target is about 40 minutes away, so I did not want to drive to Target so I just ordered them and I have the red card so it doesn't cost me anything for shipping and um not happy uh oh okay so I don't know if you can see that but there is now makeup all over my hands this is what just came out of the box I I'm sure you can see that there is definitely something broken I'm scared all right. Oh, no. Not happy about that. Please don't be anything on there. And it is. Great. And it's a pretty shade. I don't know what to do. Do I call them or no? <sighs> but then it's just one. I don't know. I'm upset. All right. So there's the mess up. I don't know, can you guys see under the eye, it is completely broken and missing. There's not even any salvageable means of that. And that's a pretty silvery shade. That stinks. All right. Well, let's suck it up. It's only, what, a $10 palette, so let's suck it up and move on. The palette that I wanted the most is okay. It looks like... Yeah, it looks like so. That's okay, I guess. Now I have silver all over me. I do have different silver eyeshadows, so it's not the end of the world. Am I upset? A little bit. Oh, well. It is what it is. So, we got the Am... I just wiped it off a little bit. The Amethyst palette, which this was $6.99. This is what I ordered... This is what I made the order for, which is Wanderlust. And you had to spend at least, I think it was $25 in order for them to send these. And then this is the infatuation palette as I showed you. So, let's actually start with the infatuation palette since that's the one that's broke. And see what the other shades are like. I'm scared to open it. It's going to be everywhere. Oh my goodness gracious. Wow. All right. So there's the inside. All messed up. Let's see. And that's a shame because that, that uh, sorcery shade is very, very pretty. Let me see if I can just... Oh, that's a, that is a shame. So there's the shade. Let's see. Of course I wore long sleeves. Why wouldn't I? That's kind of dumb, but okay. All right, let's see if I can... Oh, that's a shame. That is a shame. There's the... I always put it on the wrong spot right to begin with. So that's the shade that broke. I mean, 
Is it replaceable? Yeah, I'm sure I can find something. But I love my glitters. Okay. All right, guys, let's go ahead and get into it. So it comes with a brush. Their brushes are, I'm scared to touch anything now because I'm all glittery and my, oh, it's going to be everywhere. All right, um, their brushes are not bad. They are, um, I mean, they're not the greatest, but they're not horrible either. If you have not tried Profusion, I do have, oh my goodness, I do have a Profusion palette. Um, but these are not, they're not that bad. So it's just a little blending brush. And I think, it, yeah, it does say Profusion on it. All right. So let's, it's such a mess. Look at, look at all that. Oh, it stinks. I'm so mad. Okay. Get over it, right? It's just that now I have glitter everywhere and trying to do a swatch with glitter all over the place, it's going to mess everything up. And I only pulled out two makeup wipes. And I, the other ones are far away. All right, so let's just do the swatches. So we, we have Polite, Halo, Dizzy, and Personal. That's what they look like. And we're gonna, oh, that's pretty. So the one Profusion palette that I do have is not that great. Um, I think it's Metallics is the one that I have. That last one didn't, uh, but it's kind of like a neutrally color anyway. Um, like I said, they're, they are um, Metallics. I mean, it's okay, not, not, not the best. All right, um, so moving on, Rush, Gravity, Shell, and Whimsical. That's what they look like. And it's probably easier for me to just do it like this so I can see what I'm doing. That's pretty. So they definitely have stepped up their palettes for sure um, with their the pigment and the consistency of their shadows, they definitely are a lot better than what they used to be. All right. So next would have been sorcery and then Zenith, Bouncy, um, Persona, and Outspoken. And I'm not really pressing too hard on these because I'm, I'm not sure whether or not I want to send this back to get a new one. I'm probably, I don't know, I'm, I might. That's the colors for that. So these swatches may not look as great as they could because I'm not really like digging into the pan. So, oh, I'm a mess. All right, so we got, that's pretty. They are, they are some really nice, I'm excited with these shadows. I had thought I got the chocolate palette, but I guess I was wrong. So there are those. I'm all over the place in this video, I know, because I'm upset. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, what do you guys think? Do you think I should send it back, even after doing the swatches, or take it as a loss because it's a $10 palette? Let me know what you think in the comments. All right, so we have Devoted, beautiful red, Oasis, Disco, and Jive. Oh my goodness, look at the mats. Oh, that's so good. So good. All right, so, wow. Are you kidding me? That's awesome. But as we see, oh my gosh. Wow. As we seen with the CoverGirl palette, it swatched really, really good, but some of the, it just didn't perform really well on the eyes. So we'll see. But I've heard really good things about this this palette. So that's why I, um, well, the Wonderlust palette. That's why I went and got it. All right. So we have four more shades in this. And that is Daring, Go Girl, Retro, and Tease. That is, what, oh my goodness. That is what they look like. So there's not that many shimmers in this in this uh palette so it's like i guess there's a couple but it's like do i because that one looks like it was like the main shimmer so do i i don't know do i return it oh my goodness oh yes 
I am definitely using this palette. Like, it's going to be a staple. Look at, look at how great those mattes look. All right, so while I decide on that, we are, I'm going to put this aside and leave it a mess and not clean it up just in case I do decide to um, return that. And let me know in the comments if you guys have ever returned anything for, um, like, if it was broken or whatever and how that worked, especially for Target, because I've, I've never done that. I'm assuming they'll replace it and it won't be a problem. Um, we'll, we'll see. I know they don't, they didn't have any bubble wrap in there. It was just kind of set in the box, which kind of not good. But I think this is the first time I've ever received anything broken like that. Maybe that's why I'm so upset about it. All right. So now we are on to the Wanderlust palette. And that one, and I'm going to try to get through this as quick as I can, too, because the swatch videos tend to last forever. And that is what that looks like. Gorgeous shadows. And the same thing with a brush and all that. Oh, and this is even broken, guys. Look. That's broke. Wow, they really did me good in this, uh, this order. I don't know what to do. Should I just, like... I wonder if I, like, drive to Target and show them this, like, if they would replace it, or do I suck it up? I mean, that could be glued. That's not a big deal, but it's just the fact of, like, this is broken and that's broken, and we still have this palette to open up, so we'll see if anything in here is broken. All right, so let's get to moving on this. So we've got Illusion. And I can press a little bit harder on these ones. Tranquil, Chill, and Serious. That's what they look like. Gorgeous. Oh my goodness. Now I can see what all the um, raving is about this palette for 10 bucks. That's what they look like. Pretty. I'm just upset that everything's broken, and I know I keep saying it, but I'm sure you'd be upset, too. All right, Frosting, Gravity, Love Story, and Majesty. And that's what they look like. And we are going to go next to this. Oh, that's pretty. Wow. Gorgeous. Okay, and that's what they look like. Wow, these are really pretty, you guys. Definitely worth the $10. Maybe I should have took the trip to the Target that's near me, and I wouldn't have to dealt with this. But, all right. Um, hypnotic, Jade, Stormy, and Splash, a beautiful blue. Wow, oh my gosh, look at the pigment. All right, and then we're going to, where I'm running out of room, we're going to go there. Wow. Wow. And this is just one swipe. There's not a lot of fallout on the palette. And um, not a lot of fallout, period, like, at all. So you can see what I've swatched so far. I mean, the, you can see from the silver from the other stuff. But there's not a lot from this, from me touching the shadows. All right. So, Regal. Nimbus, I guess. N-I-M-B-U-S. Some of them feel chalky and some of them feel real buttery. So, it's a, it's a mix. And that's mattes and shimmers that are, the, like, some of them. Like, this, or no, this one was really, like, chalky and chunky. And these two mattes were very soft and this was soft. So, I guess it's like um, a mixture of, oh my God, a mixture of, you know, different textures as well. Wow. And they are there. That one didn't swatch so great. But I'm sure, again, you can build them up. Yeah. Nice. Impressed. Impressed. Um, and it's not Target's fault that their stuff got broke. I guess in a way it kind of can be because, um, 
they didn't like pack it right. All right, so we are on to the bottom row. And oh, we are, did we do? Yeah, I guess I did do that. All right, so we're on the left. I know we got five left. So Nostalgia, Cruise, Enigma, beautiful. They're, that one's chalky. And Retro, and that one's chalky. So the blue and the purple are chalky. The other two were nice and creamy. Mm, I'm running out of room. Beautiful. Wow. Guys, this stuff is like really good pigment for a $10 palette. Definitely way better than that CoverGirl one that I swatched. Even the, I mean, this, like I said, the swatches weren't that bad, but they weren't this good either. All right, so can I, I guess I can go there. And I only have one more anyway on this one. And that's called Go Girl. And that's that one. That's a little chalky too. But swatches beautifully. All right. So moving on to the last palette from them. From Profusion. And that is the Amethyst palette. And that's what it looks like. And none of these have mirrors in them, but that's probably why they can get away with them being cheaper. And then that's what the pans look like. And it comes with another brush. Gorgeous. So I think we're going to go on this arm, since I'm out of room on that one. And we're going to go with Lively. Poise. Courage and Glory. These ones feel a little bit more buttery. And that's those. And then we've got... I have got glitter everywhere. Um, again, this Nimbus shade. So there's a repeat. Uh, crackle. Adorn and Finesse. And that's what they are. And let's go there. There. Oh, wow. There. Oh, did you see that fall off of there? Those are pretty. And then we have four more in this palette. And that is... Hard Rock, Twilight, Nebula, and Tease. And that is what they look like. Oh, that's like a duochrome. And let's do right here. So we got that. That. That's pretty. They're all pretty. Now, is it a duochrome? Um, you can see a lot of sparkle in it. They're be I mean, it's definitely looks like it'll be a workable palette. So let me know what you think about if I should return that one or not, or if I should just chalk it up as a loss. Um, real quick, I know this is a long video, but there are a couple more things that I had picked up from the drugstore that I just wanted to go over real quick. Um, and just let you know, you know, obviously, this is the... Um, the NYX Epic Ink Liner. I love this stuff. If you guys have not tried this, it is definitely a dupe for the Kat Von D. And it's only like $7. I went and got the Milani uh, Perfect and, and con or Conceal and Perfect in 115 Light Nude. Because everybody says that this is really good. So I'm going to give that a shot. I also bought the new Revlon Kiss Plumping Lip Creams. I got two of them. I got the shade Peony Buff 530. And then this one I opened up. And this one is 505 Apricot Silk. Um, I don't know if you can. This is what they look like. And I'm going to show you a quick swatch of it. So you can see. I did try it out. It does have a um, plumping effect. They're really pretty. And they do stay pretty glossy. Um, 
And then I got this I had never seen before. I don't know. Well, actually, I think I've seen it. I just never bit the bullet and bought it. And it is Revlon Kiss Balm. And it looks like it's just a strawberry flavored, I guess. Fresh strawberry. So we'll give that a try. And then I went and seen that NYX had the Ultimate Edit palettes. I know they have the big one. But I guess this is just Little Guy. I don't know if they uh, go together or whatever. But um, so I've got... Does it have the names? Yeah. So this is Ash. We'll do a really quick um, on the back of the hand for these. Uh, swatches because I've already kept you long enough there wow actually I'm going to be honest with you the Wanderlust palette feels a lot more buttery than this one does and this is NYX very very chalky alright so that's what that looks like and then this one is called Phoenix. I'm going to do it on the other hand because now my fingers are stained. Um, and that's the bright ones. Pretty. But let's see. I'm sure they have. Do they have shade names? No, I don't think they do. No shade names. Maybe in the bigger palette they do. But these are very chalky. I'm a little surprised about that. Because some a lot of NYX... But they're, nah, that, this one's a lot more pigmented. A lot of NYX shadows are pretty good in my book. I mean, I I like NYX shadows. I, I, guess it, I guess it's a hit or miss, honestly. Because um, some of their stuff is really good and some of their stuff is not. Alright, so that's that palette. And then we have one more, and then I am done. And uh, don't forget, guys, to let me know what's going on. This is Warm Neutrals. That's what that one looks like. That's pretty. That's like an everyday palette. All right, so we've got the neutral. Well, they're all new. I'm saying neutral, and they're all pretty neutral. Oh, but some of them, the metallics, are really nice. Hold on, I got two more. My hands are a mess. My body's a mess. This sucks. I'm so upset. So upset, so upset. Alright, and then that's what that palette looks like. So, all in all... Obviously, I really like the Wanderlust palette out of all of the palettes that I got. I don't know what to do. Let me know what you think I should do. I don't know. I should be receiving my ColourPop palette really soon. Plus, my boxes are going to be rolling in. So, you should see a video from me within the next couple of days. And I'm going to try to create some kind of schedule so that we have like an uploading schedule. Um, that way you at least know when I'm going to, you know, to look for me if, if my videos are not being suggested. Uh, don't forget to let me know in the comments what you would do in this situation because I don't think I've ever encountered this before. And, um, that way I, maybe it'll help me decide on what I should do. Uh, don't forget to leave me a comment, like, subscribe. It helps out so, so much. And I will see you in the next video, guys. Thank you. You have a fantastic day. Bye.